Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another episode. You know who it is. It's your boy, Jimmy Lopez, coming at you with the new movie review. And Tony's not around today. Uh, he's feeling kind of sick. But I am going to be uh, talking about the movie Aftermath with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, but before we do that, I figured I'd do a little magic trick for you. So this is an old trick that's uh, it's a presentation in most uh, magicians' uh, repertoire. I remember I learned it back in 1987. <laughs> God, I just gave away my age, didn't I? <laughs> but it involves four coins, as you can see, four cards, and uh, my magic hands. And nothing up the sleeves. I'm going to take away these two cards here. And what I'm going to try to do is amaze you. Let's we'll start with this coin right over here, okay? I'm going to cover it up and say the magic words, bang! And as you can see, one coin jumps over here. We'll take this card over here and go bang! And then the last one's actually really very simple. I'll take it like this. See it right there? Normal coin. And bang. All four coins have jumped over here. <laughs> but the one that's round of applause, I'll do another one. <laughs> promise not to tell anybody. <laughs> I promise not to tell anybody either. But, alright, on with the review. Hey guys. Um, hope you like that magic trick. Um, yeah, the movie Aftermath. Okay, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, there's other stars in the movie too. Uh, I don't. I vaguely recognize. You may recognize some of their names: Maggie Grace, Scott and, uh, McNary, and Martin Donovan. Never really heard of them, but it doesn't matter. They were they were good in the movie. Um, this movie synopsis: Arnold's a family man whose wife goes to pick up his daughter from somewhere else to bring her home. She's pregnant. He's very happy about this. And they show him go down memory lane right at the beginning of uh, his wife and his daughter. And he's so happy. So, but he gets to the airport and finds out that the uh, plane was in a very bad accident. And uh, his wife and daughter have passed away. Henceforth, the title of the movie, Aftermath. Because everything dealing with it is the aftermath of something that... A catastrophe that happens like this. Um... I would say the movie had really good possibilities. In some ways, it's good. It does reach you right here. Um, it deals with a lot of mumbo-jumbo legality talk because the airlines, in this case, is always looking out for its own best interests, you know, but not to make it look like they're the bad guy, but, you know, they put people, they hire certain people to represent the airline, and their only interest is the best for the airline. So... These people could seem really cold-hearted. And uh, Arnold basically doesn't even, pretty much just wants an apology and to find out what really happened. Uh, he wants to get down to the nitty-gritty. Uh, I know some families in the movie sell out for money, which is, I guess is normal. Um, I'm not going to tell you too much more about the movie, but they should have just gave Arnold an apology because from there Arnold kind of takes things into his own hands. But not in a very... Not in an action way. There's no I'll be back and stick around and Arnold kicking butt in the movie. Um, why do I say the movie had possibilities? Hmm. My problem with the movie was none of the other stars. Stars I never really heard of in the movie to begin with. But they were good. Um, my problem was Arnold. I know. Arnold. Guys, nobody loves Arnold Schwarzenegger more than I do. I mean, I imitate him. That's why you lazy bastard. I know it's the best bicep you've ever seen in your life. But, you know, don't get too excited, okay? Um, yeah. Um, and it's not that he can't do a movie that's only uh, action. No, I, I know he can do more than that. Um, for example, the movie The Last Stand. The first half hour of that movie was just him being charming. And I met Arnold back in 2007. He really is very charming. So I know he can pull off a role that's not just action, although The Last Stand had action. But if you remember the first half hour of that movie, he was hilarious, especially in the restaurant scene. Uh, that's just Arnold being Arnold. I mean, it's pretty. Much, he's, he's a funny guy. And so I know he can pull off a movie where it's not just action. Um, I thought Twins, he was just as funny as Danny DeVito. This role was just wrong for him. He's just... He's not Bruce Willis. Or, you know... Um... I don't know, Bruce, Bruce Willis is a good example. He's actually a real actor. Um, he's not Liam Neeson or anything like that, you know. He's, he's really trying to act in this movie, and it's just not working. Because 
Arnold's just not that type. He needs you need to let Arnold be Arnold in a movie, not to try to be sympathetic to the uh, the person wants you to, to get the sympathy from the viewers. It just doesn't work, and that's the problem I have. I think most of you who see this movie will say, yeah, it's, the role just was not right for him. It just didn't work. Um, but his co-stars in the movie, uh, they were good, especially Scott McNary, who plays the, the opposed to, to him in the movie. Um, he really um, does a good job of letting you know what it was that he went through on his side and uh, um, all the stuff that he went through with uh, worrying about the passengers and what their families thought and everything. And I mean, you really would need probably need a psycho psychological evaluation with something like this. Uh, he was good. Uh, Maggie Grace was good. Martin Donovan, they were good. But again, Arnold just did not pull it off. I mean, I love Arnold. I really, really, really do. I love Arnold Schwarzenegger. But this role was not right. So out of five stars, I can't give it, no, I'm going to give it two stars. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but, you know, like Arnold always says, I'll be back. So, uh... <laughs> All right, guys, that's all the time. Two stars for me. I really don't know what Tony uh, thought of it. Like I said, Tony's not feeling good. So, Tony, if you're listening, get, get better, you lazy bastard. <laughs> all right, guys, until the next time, saluting you today and every day. Later, guys. Bye.